would you rather go to a team that's already in a championship run, contending team, or go to a team where you know you're a piece trying to build towards that? Um, I'm just want to go in the best situation. You know, not, I'm not really worried about you know what the team has done in the past. And I'm just um, obviously the present and the future is most important to me. And um, whatever team I can go to and um, you know fit the best role and uh, things like that, I'm, I'm willing to do. And I'm just excited about whatever team wants me to um, you know fit that spot and do that whatever I can to just help that team win. Besides your body, obviously you've changed that, but what have you improved on besides that since you've been out in Vegas? Uh, I think my jump shot has gotten a lot better, you know, and uh, my conditioning. Those two those two things have been important because um, in the NBA, the fours run uh, all consistently all game, you know, so I think it was important for me to, um, you know, obviously, like you said, change my body and uh, get quicker and get faster and uh, be able to hit that 15 to 17 foot jump shot. You were with Joe out there? Yes, sir. When you got there, what was the game plan? Um, the first thing we was to do was to lose the weight, lose some of that about that baby body fat I had, and um, so the first four four weeks was just um, emphasized on just making my changing my body and uh, eating right. And that was the most important thing. No, no McGriddles, no you know McDonald's, no, nothing like that. Just try to uh, eat the right things, the right the, the best things for you. And I think that really um, once I started doing that, it was tough. The first two weeks was very very hard, um, but once I saw such a drastic change in such a shorter time, you know, it made it a lot easier for me to build up confidence and uh, I wanted to do it more. Was it cardio? Was it Strength that improved first. Yeah, it was both. You know, I think at first, um, while while I was um, in the weight room, uh, between reps, I was on the bike. You know, doing um, intervals on the bike. So that definitely helped out too. Yeah. When, how many were you doing a lot of plyometrics also? Yeah, all that. I mean, I think it was all it was all tied in. You know, all tied in um, doing you know ab works and uh, hip flexors, just things to try to uh, loosen up. You know, some of that some of that bad weight and uh, get it out and flush it out of my system. Did you have a, a goal, a number in mind when you got there? Did you just say, I'm just going to try to get as fit and as healthy as I can before? I, I did want to get to 245. That was, that was, my, that was my, my set goal, you know, to stay between 245 and 250. And um, I weighed in yesterday at 247, which is what, which I, which I, what I wanted to weigh in, you know, when I got here. So um, that's, that's the lowest I've weighed, you know, in, in a while. And it, it's, it's a good thing because I, I move, it's like I moved around the muscle and I moved it to right areas. And, um, and I'm still in the process of, of building on the muscle. I, I lost the, the past four, you know, four to six weeks was, you know, trying to make me lose the weight. Now I got to add on the muscle and just uh, chip my body up and uh, get toned up, things like that. Are you going to Minnesota next week? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll be out there. What's the game plan out there? What, what's expected of you guys? Um, just to feed off of what I did here, you know, just um, continue to be positive, continue to work hard. And, um, you know, I think the, the main thing, the, the main goal here was to just uh, show my body and to, and to um, you know, to, to let, let them know that you know, I, I did change and I could I could transform my body to the NBA body. And I think that was really important for people to see. When you met with teams, was that one of the first things that they mentioned to you? Was absolutely. Your body changed completely. Absolutely, absolutely. Which was the plan? You know, that was um, they, they just told me they asked first of all, asked me how much how much weight I lost and uh, the body percent fat, things like that. And uh, I think it was definitely you know positive. When you see your measurements now. I mean, there has to yeah. be a part of you where you, not even the basketball part of it, but just your life changing like that. Yeah. You have to be really pleased with the work you put in. Absolutely. It's a true blessing to, to even be out in Vegas working out and um, to be here, you know, um, you know, at the combine. It's definitely a true blessing and, um, you know, I'm very fortunate to be here. And I just want to take full advantage of it. Hey, Jordan, um, what do you make of when everybody says that this is a weak draft? Are you kind of thinking about those comments? Or does that give you um, motivation to give you yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. You know, I think. I think that you know, every every. I don't think there's such thing as a weak draft. You know, I think that anybody who's going to the NBA draft and playing at such a high elite level, um, you know, it's really it's really important. You know, to realize that everyone's an un unbelievable athlete. You know, it doesn't matter first, second round, wherever you go. That we're all you know going to play at the highest level. And I think um, to say it's a weak draft is definitely. You know, it's, it's it's tough to say because everyone's you know an elite athlete. Do you feel like your productivity at Maryland has been overlooked a little bit? What do you mean? Like, uh, you put up some good numbers uh, against the best competition in, in college basketball yeah. in that conference. And, and to see where you're kind of projected right now, do you feel like you know maybe you deserve a little bit more considering what you've been able to do against quality basketball players? Yeah, I mean, I don't say I'm overlooked. I think it was just more so, um, you know, maybe just my, my body at the time. I think that I was, I was kind of a, you know, overweight, out of shape, Type of player in college and um, in NBA, there are guys in my position who are trimmed up, who are more athletic, who you know can fin finish just as well as I do. So um, I, I think it was just it was a it was my something that I had to do to change it. You know, and um, you know I respect their, I respect their opinions, and it was my job to to go and kind of change their opinions, and I think I did that this, this past couple of days. Given your your age and your where you were physically, why were you so convinced you could 
you could make the league. What convinced you? Um, I think I built up my confidence early. Like I said before, when, when I saw such a drastic change, you know, um, so fast within like within four weeks and how fast my body changed and, um, you know, how, how much better I was moving, how, how much my shot had improved, um, consistency on my, on my jump shot, things like that. It just, um, it really, and how, like I said, how it happened so fast, it really just made, my, my, made me just want to, you know, continue with it and, and not stop there. And, um, you know, if, if I saw how fast I could change in four weeks, imagine what I could do at, you know, in, in a couple of years at, or a, a lot of years at a, at a franchise. How much weight have you lost since your freshman year? I was 281 in my freshman year, and now, now 247. I was, two, I was 245 when I first left, and I was 247 when I got here. So I, I don't, I'm, I'm not good at math. Wow. I'm not, yeah, I, I was, I was big, I was a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah real big boy.